Hi, Nick here of MedTech World. Sitting with me is Ravi from ARV Consultants. You're going to give a little talk in a little sure. while. What are you going to talk about today? When we talk about the future of healthcare, the way that we look at it is, uh, it lacks on multiple fronts. First one, it's on cost, then quality. The third one is access. And the fourth one is a means of delivering it. Uh, we can see two distinct classes in this world. Uh, we have got the developed nations where you have a sufficiently well-developed infrastructure which is still bursting at its seams and you have the underdeveloped world or the emerging economies uh, or the underserved segments where access and availability of quality healthcare is a huge, huge challenge. So the question that comes up is if you really step back, uh, way back in 1978 in Kazakhstan in Almaty, a declaration was made saying primary care will be available for all by year 2000. 215 countries signed up for it, but we are 40 years away and nowhere in sight. So the question that comes up is, how are we going to look at exponential technologies which will help us really solve the problem? And that's where you want to sort of start looking at saying, uh, what mode of engagement am I going to have with the industry and academia to bring these technologies to fusion so that we are able to drive access and quality care to a significantly large population in the world, which today does not have it. And you work <coughs> as, as a consultant in order to allow companies to do that, to inform them, to allow them to grow, to, to accelerate. That's right. So uh, in my out of my 40 years of being in the industry, I have had the chance to work with some of the greatest of companies. Like for example, I worked with General Electric, I worked with Philips, and now I am teaming up with Radnet uh, the question that comes up is, how do I use these learnings and the technologies that we have had so far in addressing monumental problems that the world is saddled with? Like, for example, I'll give you, we, COVID baffled all of us. If we really step back, one in three is expected to have cancer in, in given the lifestyle and the circumstances that we have today. About 10% of the population is having hypertension issues. Over a billion people have diabetes. Not to talk about COPDs, the, uh, the respiratory issues. So with such monumental problems that we have in hand, uh, what we are trying to now do is to leverage technologies that will make healthcare available at scale and democratize it and push it to a level where we are able to autonomously use AI for driving decisions and outcomes uh, in a resource staffed setting. I think that's where we are trying to head towards. Brilliant. And do you think that will have the, the cost impact? Do you think it will uh, allow for scale? Uh, absolutely. We have done this and demonstrated that by using AI in a hub and spoke model, we are able to drive down cost orders of time below. Like, for example, if we were to do uh, a remote ICU, we've, we have demonstrated that we are able to drive cost at least by 10x down. So if we are able to use technology to that advantage, I think we have a we have something in store. Is the technology matured enough to sort of handle it today? The answer may be no, but then I think sooner than later, we will get there. Whoever thought of chat GPT a year ago, and today it is so damn prevalent. So the question that comes is, it is moving at a tremendous pace. The question is, how fast can we keep in pace with it? How can we learn from the adjacent verticals that use these technologies and then deploy it to our advantage? And coming here today, so you're, you're, you're going to talk, you're going to teach based upon your decades of experience. What else have you come for? What are you looking for? I'm basically looking forward to seeing Malta. Uh, I have traveled to about 70 odd countries to understand the dispensation of care. I have never visited Malta, so I'm equally excited as much as this conference to try and see the country around and understand the history and the cultural aspects of it. Cool, it's small enough for you to study. How long have you got here? Uh, I'm here till Sunday afternoon. Okay. So I'm trying to take a day off on Saturday and do a round and then maybe come back with my wife sometimes early next year to explore the balance. Brilliant. I look forward to it. Ravi, thanks for joining us with MedTech hey, thank World. Thank you so much. It's been wonderful and I really look forward to participating here often. Great talk.